It's uh, 28th of June today. Me and Melissa, we made the ride out to North Dakota here last night. It is 11.30 in the morning today. We had 11 and a half hour drive and we arrived just now at our destination. We were doing a little bit of scouting here this next couple days. Uh, Brennan and myself, we drew mule deer tags this year, trying something different for opening weekend. Usually we uh, spend it out, out uh, on the east side of the state at the cabin doing some whitetail hunting for uh, velvet bucks out there. But we've been wanting to get in on some mule deer action and look more into it the last couple years and decided to put in for tags this year and we were lucky enough to draw. So gonna give it a shot. We got a couple spots on the map here that we're um, we got kind of some leads on, so we're gonna just go check them out here in the next couple days. We just pulled in here. Oh, it's like 4.30 in the morning. Just got to camp, picked out a bow, we're gonna set the tent up here. We got about two hours, probably not even, for uh, daybreak. So we're gonna whip the tent up, try and organize a few things. And season starts at noon today. So we're gonna try and get out at least and uh, do some glassing this morning, see if we can pinpoint a couple bucks. this morning that we've stopped to do some glassing at um, as far as deer sightings all we've really seen so far is a few does and fawns on, on the public ground um, so we're hoping to get our eyes on something worth going after here soon but we'll see we got a lot of ground to cover still got a lot of time but nice to at least get a buck in our sights before the opening opening bell cracks. south here we should get in a little bit more um, open terrain hopefully we can do a little more glassing we're just coming to a close of the first day here in uh, North Dakota and it was pretty slow um, we've seen a fair amount of deer uh, a lot of does and fawns. Just couldn't find bucks on, on public land. Um, nothing at least to the caliber that we were hoping. But we're heading back to check one more spot here where we've seen all those nice shooters this morning. Uh, now we're on the private and we're just hoping uh, there's some plots land that, that butts up to it. We're just hoping maybe they decided to go a different direction this afternoon or something quick play or something here but otherwise uh yeah we got maybe another half hour left of hunting and we're gonna be heading back to camp and probably dip into the lattes a little bit tonight and get catch up on some rest we we're both riding on i don't know maybe an hour and a half two hours sleep max i didn't get two hours you, you definitely didn't get two hours i got two hours <laughs> group I think from yesterday that we seen right away 
There's for sure, I'd say three shooters in the group. They're about a solid mile away though right now. Um, we're not 100% certain if they're on the public or the private right now. They're kind of flirting with the border. So we're gonna try and cut this distance here in half at least. We got a pretty good beat on them where they are right now. We just got basically to our last glassing point. We're getting ready to drop everything and make a final stalk on these bucks. And he popped over the rise where we last seen that nice one. And he jumped the fence just when we packed up the last time we were glassing. So we figured that he was going to be worth making a play to probably lay up in this draw here. Got to here, couldn't find him. So I look over and that same group of five bucks we seen yesterday morning. They all must have got together and I don't know, something. They kept looking back up to the west, like something boogered them. And they crossed the fence and went back into private land up over the hill. So now we're just enjoying a little venison and chili lemon peanut breakfast. But it sucks. We're well over a mile and a half, I'd say, back in here. Gotta hike it all the way back out and come on with another plan. That's the establishment we run around here. Throw a spotter on him. See if we can get better. I get what he is. We're back up in where we started this morning. Um, we were chasing this buck, and when he busted on us, he ran off to the north up in here. About a good two, two and a half miles from where we were stalking him this morning looking off to the south here so we got a lot of these hillsides are shaded we're hoping we can that these deer you know lay up on the shaded sides here and we can pick them off sitting on this hillside for about an hour, hour and a half. And uh, not much going on. We seen some does kind of down below us. He decided to shift over onto the hill and look up into a different draw that we couldn't see. And he found a buck lane just right in the bottom of this ravine. Looks like a pretty good one. So we're gonna try and cut around on him, keep the wind in our favor, and hopefully we can make it happen. Hey for what? I don't want ice 
spot is a very long ways away. Is it a buck? Yeah, he's nice. Why would I hate you? Because he's a long ways away. Have I complained about a hike yet? Yet. No, we were going to go make a play on these bucks. We thought they were going to go around this hillside. But they dropped out of sight like 20 minutes ago. We were just getting ready to go after them. Now look out, and they came back out into this drainage. And they're actually working in this drainage right here, right towards us. So we're going to try and get up. And hopefully they're just going to work past us. That's, that's our best bet right now. I don't know if they might end up going up higher, but we'll see. We're just packing up camp right now. It's about 9.30. Um, got one stock in this morning, unfortunately. Um, the little wind that we had was blowing right at the buck. We were hoping he came down the drainage to us and he started cutting up the hill. And uh, we just couldn't get ahead of him in time. Ended up meeting him about halfway up. And uh, wind blew, was blowing right at him. And he ended up boogering. But we got a few good stocks in this weekend. Had a blast out here to kick the year off. Um, might try and get out here in another week. We're heading back west here. It is uh, the 10th, I think, today. And I have a week of vacation that I had set aside here. And uh, we're heading back to North Dakota for round two, trying to get back on some muleys. We got good weather again this week, and hopefully we can punch a tag early. Dylan's got a tag for North Dakota for whitetail. And uh, if we have any luck, we could be back chasing whitetails at the dink by the end of the week, so. Yeah! slow morning we've seen some does some smaller bucks and we just came into this new piece popped over this hill we seen one buck bed up probably three quarters of a mile away on the public and as we were kind of getting a game plan for him right below us we seen another nice buck get up a few hundred yards away and we watched him lay down he's like right over the top of a ledge so we're gonna try and slip in See if we can come over the top on them. We got the wind perfect right now. So, let's see if we can make it happen. If it don't work on him, we got the other buck too worth going after, so. That is, me and Brennan talked all last week about shooting one just like that. And you couldn't have got more straight down on that deer. I couldn't even, I couldn't even have shot him if he busted, or if he didn't bust because I was literally about ready to fall off the damn cliff. He went over that knob there, into the other draw and he ain't coming out. So I'll probably give him a little time here. 
and go find them. Beautiful deer, dude. That was, we, we could have jumped on him. We could have Tim Wells him. <laughs> well, here's my North Dakota buck, 2018. Couldn't ask for a more awesome, awesome hunt. This is our second trip out here this year, my second trip out here. We hunted the first few days of Labor Day, had a bunch of close calls on some nice bucks. Just couldn't make it happen, but by the end of the trip, we started figuring out kind of where some of these deer were hanging out. He might not be the biggest buck, but he's my first first uh, mule deer with a bow and arrow. Got the monkey off my back finally. Uh, I couldn't be any happier with him. Cool deer in velvet. Just a, a great, great hunt. We got the got the work ahead of us now. That's a stuff.